Yo everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching and tuning in today. I'm Soupy Socks, your host, and in today's episode we're going to talk about Digby, my racing mower or off-roading mud mower. We're going to kind of look at doing a build-up, not sure which direction I want to go. Uh, so we're going to kind of put a game plan together in this episode. It's a bit of a short episode today, just going to give this thing a degrease power wash it and just give you a quick little tour and show you what I need to do to make this thing mobile. Uh, one of the reasons I am going to do it is that there's a Fort Assiniboine, Alberta. It's a, a little hamlet two hours north of me. They do a racing series with mowers every year. Uh, might be get cancelled this year due to COVID but in preparation I'm going to be building it anyway. If not, I can go and do some off-roading in the bush with it and kind of have some fun with this. It's uh, kind of a poor man's ATV, but again, it's packed full of fun and there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. So we're going to give this a bath, clean all those uh, grass clippings and years of acreage cutting off of it, and then start the process on what I need to do to it. So if you're new to this channel, welcome aboard. I have Digby here as my off-road lawnmower slash mud mower. And I also ride a 2003 RM250, or sorry, RM125 uh, Suzuki. So we're going to get into that this weekend. We're going to be all about enduro riding and moto vlogs. Uh, but for today's episode, it's going to be all about Digby here, giving it a bath, cleaning it up, and then going over some of my plans. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, consider hitting the like, and consider dropping a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Well everybody, you can see Digby is now cleaned. I cleaned the undercarriage, I cleaned under the hood. So there's a lot of work to be done on this vehicle, no doubt about it. So I think I have to replace the front tires or get them inflated. I might go, if I go with a mud tire or a mud mower, I'm going to change those out uh, pretty damn quickly because they're too wide for mud riding. Um, the rest of the vehicle, I'm not doing nothing to it. It's going to stay the same. Digby is good the way she is. She is. And I got the 17 horsepower iTech motor to go in there. I got to do all the electrical. I got to run an exhaust. I got to require a gas tank for it. Uh, Mudmore Farms has offered his assistance, so I'm definitely going to take him up on that offer. So we got lots of work to do to get Digby in shape. Also here, I got to sort out the uh, controls and the levers. How I'm going to do that? I got to mount this a little bit better. Probably replace some of the missing screws. And then in here, just give it a good cleanup, uh, new battery, new cables. These are our cables are all shot. They're no good. They'll just lead to electronic problems of starting and, you know, just general operations. So Digby's going to be a budget project. I got the motor. So the rest of it is just a little bit of, um, what can you say, wires, other little accessories. Sort out the tire there. That one is flat, so I got to either put air into it or replace it. Get rid of the belts. Obviously, I'm going to do switch the pulleys over to make it much faster. So that's going to have to have new belts as well. So the budget's going to be, you know, definitely under $500 for the whole thing, which is pretty decent for this fun little romp. But this one's going to come in its place. This one here, I'm going to be doing it uh, day by day uh, and just bite on it as I can. But hopefully in another month, it'll be it'll be on the road maybe a little bit sooner than that. 
So, guys, you'll see Digby kicking around some Mudmore Farms, and hopefully that race in Fort Assiniboine. Hopefully they have an off-road track, and hopefully COVID-19 doesn't put the brakes on it. Uh, if it does, then maybe uh, just to extend it. So that's about it. So next time you're going to see me in action, we're going to definitely this weekend hit the dirt bikes. We're going to go out uh, trail riding and uh, hit Bruderheim. And then in a couple weeks uh, after that, I'm going to go to a motocross track. So like again, if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Hopefully you're going to have fun and watch all my shenanigans and, you know, interact with the off-roading